guys I'm making this video to just show you the new Android 5.1 lollipop that has been uh, available for Moto E since tomorrow night uh, my friend called me and informed me that the old Moto E that is the first generation Moto E has received a update uh, it has been quite some time since the lollipop has released but this device is only getting it now the Moto G and uh, other variants have received this lollipop update far earlier but this one is only getting it in July and I am from India so this is the dual sim variant dual sim variant okay now one of the good things is that the company is directly providing Android 5.1 lollipop instead of 5.0 lollipop uh, this is a great thing since the 5, uh, Android 5.1 lollipop is far better than the 5 Android 5.0 uh, it has many uh, the Android 5.0 had many stability issues and uh, uh, some other cons like that but the 5, uh, in 5.1 all those are fixed so there's a big thumbs up for Motorola for providing directly the Android 5.1 lollipop and uh, now now as you can see this is uh, the phone running Android 4.4 KitKat I will just wait for that going to settings about phone and you can see the device is running on KitKat now one of the main references will be the Android 5.1 lollipop will bring uh, some design changes especially for the UI uh, it will bring material design as you can see this is now the UI and it will change it drastically after the lollipop update now this is the phone dialer now I'm going to install the 5.1 lollipop I have already downloaded the file it was around 364 megabytes and uh, I just want, I didn't want to waste time showing that so I just downloaded that now make sure that your phone has at least 60% uh, of battery remaining before updating this or you can always update the phone by connecting it to a charger now I'm going to install the device now the time that the company has said is 30 minutes install time it may vary according to your phone uh, especially this phone is not so great in performance so it will it will take some time to install the lollipop yeah, the phone's memory there should be at least 500 MB free so that you can install the update okay now knowing about that I'm going to install it right now it is powering powering of the device it might take a pretty good amount of time to install the update so beware of that you can't use the phone at that time not for calling for browsing etc now the system updates are installing I will come back after the update now to tell you the truth the update was really painfully slow so actually I thought it would take a little bit more than half an hour or installing the updates but actually it is worth the wait a phone which costs so less actually it is around now it's just around 5000 rupees in India or less than hundred dollars but you are getting regular updates regarding the operating system I think this would be the last update by Motorola for the operating system I don't think this would be getting the Android M since the device is not that powerful and even this 5.1 would be a little heavy for the device we will see if there are any lags for the interface now the Android is just updating and it's optimizing the apps now good see that it has successfully been and you can right away see the difference in the lock screen this is the lock screen of Android 5.0 Lollipop. Let me just increase the brightness. Now, as you can see, you can see the difference in the lock screen. The date and the time 
is there itself and there the notifications are just below that now let's unlock the device now let's unlock the device and see what it uh, what it's like wow you can right away see the difference the home back and multitasking has been uh, the icons has been changed now the UI seems to be smooth as expected it was smooth before it is smooth now and there is nothing more actually you can see the difference in the notification panel one swipe down you get this another more swipe down you will get access to the quick no, uh, quick settings and you can the one of the good things is that you can increase or decrease the brightness right from here as you can see now let's uh, right away see the android version right now okay now let's see go to the settings and see what whoa right away you can see the settings have been changed also the settings is also now a lot different it was black before it has a white theme right now let's go down and see about the phone now as you can see the it is android version 5.1 lollipop good good see just tap so there you go we have the 5.1 lollipop what happened the system UI UI have just crashed right now I don't know what that was it simply crashed now let's close that and see the camera app the camera app is not that different actually you can see now the dialer has really changed you can see the dialer has changed let's see the keypad wow that's nice actually it is more pleasant to see the top notification bar appears blue it has a really nice white theme with you can see now that everything is as usual now let's see the uh, I cannot actually notice the new type of ad drawer that we have seen in Android Lollipop I think Montrola hasn't changed that but everything has been wow this one is now good really really good you can see the settings right here so good to see that now the multitasking is like this you can see actually I can see no lags in the interface interface only that one time when it crashed now one of the things that I have heard is that uh, now the after the Android 5.1 update we will be getting the Andro, uh, we will be getting the ambient display now ambient display is literally the that feature which I have seen in the Moto X first generation and all for showing up notification only the required part of the screen lights up leaving all other blank so there you go guys I will also try to post a new video regarding the battery life after the 5.1 lollipop on the Moto E so if you are not subscribed to my channel subscribe to it right now if you like the video please give a thumbs up below and stay tuned for more videos thank you